Mm, mm, mm. What is going on, you beautiful fucks? Mm. You like how I have to drink this with the uh, napkin around it because it keeps fucking leaking? That's fine. I don't mind at all. Let's inconvenience me more. How's everybody doing today? Happy fuck. Happy Wednesday, right? Wait, is today Wednesday? I think today's Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. Okay, cool. Um, The title, we're going to go base it off of the poppy code question that somebody finally sent in so poppy code is where you send in a question and i give you advice and we're going to do that in the beginning of all of these episodes um so if you want to comment down below or send me an email or dm me a question you totally can and i will answer it also before we hop into this if you want to support this podcast or my youtube channel or just me and shit like that go to patreon.com slash winebox poppy or the winebox poppy youtube channel to become a member there and you get to see vlogs, my stand-up, and some other shit. Go check that out if you would like. Anyway, let us hop right into this shit, shall we? Bitch, it's going to get kind of hot in this bitch. I made the um, the air is at like 75 degrees right now. Is that hot? I have no idea. Yesterday, while I looked for this picture, actually, no, I found it already. All right, question for Poppy Code. I really like all the advice you give on losing weight and that you talk about how you lost yours. And as you probably tell from my IG name, I'm a fat fuck. What is your name? Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. But I have a problem. I say I keep people anonymous or else I would tell you guys. But I have a problem that when you talk about how to lose and how you lost the weight, I feel more and more like I'll never see 200s again. I just start to hate myself. Do you think there is a way for me to stop this? P.S. Thanks for the advice on the podcast stuff. I really like doing it. No fucking problem, fam. Anytime. Thank you so much for the question. Okay, let us get into this. So actually, I actually think I want to kind of structure the entire podcast around this question, okay? Because like a lot of people, I feel like even if it doesn't have to do with weight loss, if it has to do with anything, I feel like a lot of people cannot see a better version of them, even if they were at that point at one time, right? So how to base this with you to prove to you absolutely that you 100% can, right? Like, I've had the same exact, like, I know exactly what you're going through, exactly what you felt before. I have felt this from putting on fucking, like, five pounds before, where, like, you hate yourself, you know, me, I can't, I could never lose these five pounds. I'm telling you, honestly, here's the thing. Here's, like, the, the easiest way for you to know that I'm not lying to you. If anybody who's done it that looks like you, if anybody's been as fat as you, and has done it, which it has happened, okay? There's no way you're the fattest person on earth. Um, if anybody huge has ever lost the weight and saw the 200s again, you can too. Absolutely, man. You are a person. That's it, okay? You got the, you got the same hours in the day as us. You got the same foods you can eat, right? You got all these same things you can do. Just like everybody else. There, it's absolutely possible if you just become dedicated and do the things. If you make sure you you do it and you do it right and don't cheat yourself, you absolutely can see the 200s again. Absolutely, if you do it right. I believe in you. But let's see the six. Because, like, it's kind of weird, right? When people think, I feel like there's a lot of things where people can't see them doing things more. Because they don't, like, they see themselves as like, I feel like a lot of people see themselves as like, oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm totally good. I don't need to learn anything. Like when they, when they stop with school, right? Like they completely stop learning completely. They're like, I don't need to learn shit anymore. We're done. But that's when you probably should start. Right. But like when they stop learning and then when they are given something to do to make themselves better, they're, they're going to get kind of scared and be like, I don't know if I can do that. You know, they, they don't see a lot of changes in themselves. They can't see them becoming this great thing. Cause like a lot of people, like, like you said, you start to hate yourself. Right. And I totally have been there at that point. And it could be from anything, right? It could be from like, you're still drinking on the weekends or you're still eating fattening or you're, uh, you haven't been consistent with YouTube or starting this new thing or getting a new job or going to the gym. And it could be literally, anything right you can hate yourself for being fat you can hate for yourself for not doing the goals you have set out for yourself right but I feel like also a lot of the things come down to people who are not um what is it what's the word I'm looking for ah patient right they expect a lot of things very very quickly a lot of things a lot of things happen quicker and faster than you think which doesn't make sense at, oh, a lot of things are quicker than you think and slower than you think, right? At the same exact time. I, I get confused, so I don't plan these at all. Um, for instance, right, like uh, working out, getting into shape will take you a lot longer than you think, right? But sometimes losing the weight will happen like a lot quicker. You'll be like, what the fuck? 
I look great. And I'm like, I look different than I did like last month, right? So like sometimes like that shit will just happen. And you just got to do it. The main thing with fitness or pretty much anything that you have your eyes set on would be to do it 100% all the time, no matter what, right? Because a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people are going to be hearing this. Like, let, let's say I gave you this, okay? W would you do something like, like without any reward, right? Like a lot of people... It's not even like a question. I have to answer this shit. But like with people with YouTube and stuff, like they'll give up like three months in because they, they I'm not making money. I don't have a fan base. It's not growing. Like, oh, you want to do this for a career? I drink coffee weird. I feel like it's just like sugary. I usually don't get super sugary one. Um, what was I saying? I get extremely distracted that quickly. That's literally how quickly it happens. The only time I have to edit out pauses in this is when I'm trying to remember what I just said. Okay, I think it was something like people always want like a, a quick return, right? They want a um Who's this? Is that Oh, all right. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Is he gone? <laughs> Some guy walked in, not into the office, but I thought it was my best friend. It actually kind of looked like my best friend cuz like I guess the Batman thing would work. The cowl, what's that called? I don't give a shit. Um when you can just see like, just their eyes? That guy was, like, 70 and foreign. I thought that was my 23-year-old best friend. Wow. I just saw movement, and I was like, ah. Get the fuck out, right? Like, all right. Let's uh, What was I saying now? Thanks. Oh, people want short-term results very, very quickly, which is possible, right? And, like, when I explain, you guys see this all the fucking time, man. The dip. Just like the dip. That's when the dip happens. You're going to get these short quick results with like lifting and some things you want right like youtube very very slow in the beginning and they snowball some things snowball some things are quick in the beginning like lifting is quick in the beginning if you're a beginner lifter like i said last time it will be quick and a lot of things are quick right like you're getting uh if you're learning something new it could be anything let's say it's youtube right you're learning all these new fun things you're like ooh, this is cool this is fun i can implement this but then you have to like master these things you just have the the vague knowledge of and that is when everybody stops. And when I say everybody, I literally mean 95% of people or more. Not joking at all, okay? Because there's this fine line, right? Like people get really, really frustrated, which is fine. If you get frustrated at something, it's okay. If you are at a roadblock, it's okay. It doesn't mean that you can't do it, right? If you want to be a professional or one of the best at something, it is going to take you fucking years so long okay same thing it just with everything on earth okay you cannot become a professional bodybuilder in a year you can change your body you totally can you totally can look different but i think this thing sways around a lot i totally want to fix that i think oh wait i know why one sec oh am i sweating i can't see myself i turned the monitor off because i'm a narcissist Whew. I that's not my desk. I'm renting out this office or else I would totally drill that in. It's just from like it's swaying back and forth. It became a little loose because you just like tighten it on top of the desk where it's just like the friction's holding it in or whatever. Give me that fucking coffee, bitch. That's going to spill everywhere because that dumb cunt didn't know how to put a cap on it. This is such a shit show. What was I saying? How about this? Don't expect things short. Right? Like, if you cannot, like, literally... Well, actually, this is how I go about things. So, like, if back when um I was in fashion school, right, a, a reason of why I quit was I just could not see the end goal. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see me doing it. So I stopped. To me, that just wasn't feasible at all. But it, if it's like that, like, if you can't, like, if it doesn't feel like it's a you thing, that's totally okay. That's a completely different feeling than thinking you couldn't reach the 200 pound or seeing 200s ever again. Completely different. Um, like you might not be able to do, be a fashion designer or anything like that, but there are things that everybody can get better at. Everybody can learn more, right? If you don't think you can become a smart person or smarter, you totally can. If you think you can become thinner, if you don't think you can, you totally, if you can't see yourself as a better person and learning something every day, like, tr like what I try and do is do just like one thing, okay? Every day that can help you for tomorrow, okay? Like I would always, like back in the, when I dropped out, like I would be like, that'd be like read a book. Like while I'm at work, okay? Read, don't go on your fucking phone while you're on lunch. 
read. And then when you get off work, don't play video games. Do something else. Like, what can I do today to help tomorrow? What can skills can I develop today that I can implement tomorrow? All right. And so a lot of the things with what I'm telling you right now is... Um, Obviously, easier said than done and a little bit vague, okay? So obviously, I don't want you guys to just listen to me. I really, really don't. I don't think that's a good idea. I do think you should cross-reference everything I'm saying and try and look things up. Um, I would get the dip. I would get that shit. Um, I would look into things like discipline, right? Like if you can't see yourself getting to a point, I would look at maybe like a self, self-help self book, Um What's that book? Uh, like, you'll you'll know. Just, like, look up some of the great ones. Don't read too many of them. Um, but, you know, like, see, like, you know, you're, like, you're, I think the, co- like, it's, like, you're awesome, or, fuck, what was that one book? It's, like, yellow. Like, everybody reads that book. You'll know what I'm saying. Look it up. Get that one. Just realize that you're awesome, honestly. Like, every person is individually capable of a lot, okay? We all have natural skills that if we were to develop them, you could achieve that. And even if you didn't have the natural skill of lifting or if you are naturally fatter like I am, predisposition to be gaining weight, I absolutely am, okay? Or if you're predisposition to be a slower reader or dyslexic or anything, you absolutely can outwork everybody, guys. I absolutely believe you guys can. It is only January 16th right now. You guys better still be on your New Year's resolutions. I swear to fucking God, <laughs> my New Year's resolutions right now are going super great. Um, the gym, killing it. YouTube, as fucking usual. But the stand-up is the main focus, and I'm just loving it so much. I'm having such a good fucking time. Um, next week, I think, I think Monday or Tuesday-ish, a stand-up will be shown to you guys, I believe, on a vlog for Patreon and YouTube members. I'm loving it, man. I'm so, I'm enjoying it so much. I feel like I'm going to talk about it a lot of podcasts, probably. Um, it's just different, you know? Maybe I, maybe, maybe I could do a separate podcast where I just talk about it. Maybe I'll try that right after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. This can be listened to almost fucking everywhere and be watched right here on YouTube. Thank you guys for all the support. Just watching and telling your friends is literally enough, but if you want to do and go above and beyond, you absolutely can. That would mean the world as well. Links for everything in the description. I appreciate you guys so much. I love doing this. I hope you guys enjoy it at least a little bit. Thank you. Mwah. See you next Wednesday. I didn't do like the opening where I'm like, wine Wednesdays. Do I do that? Should I do that anymore? Like, wine Wednesdays, aka your new fucking religion. Bitch, I also need to fix all the thumbnails on YouTube. They're the same. I don't want to do that, man. I don't like, I don't like making thumbnails and shit.